Old ball coming, y'all. Get your hands up. Old ball coming. Come on. Get out of here. Old ball coming. Old ball. Put that shit down. I said old ball coming, too. Somebody is coming now. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So Kendrick dropped out of nowhere, and in doing so, like he did in April, ruined my plans for uploading something else. Influencers talk down cause I'm not with the basic shit, but they don't hate me, they hate the man that I represent. A few moments later. Don't nobody wanna hear that shit. Drake way better. The move of dropping this song at this moment is fucking terrible. Not bad at all. But it's clearly either a song that was in his war chest, for the battle or a song directly or clearly aimed at Drake. As time has gone on, I have understood his expression he donned on Damn's album cover more and more. And apparently Kendrick used a random eBay listing of black air forces as his song cover. <laughs> this man, he is probably the most villainous nomad I've ever seen in music. I'm going to tell you what this song is actually about. No, it's not about Drake. It's not primarily directed at him. No, it's not primarily directed at academics. This is concerning the game, the genre, the culture, and Kendrick's growing disdain and disgust of that which is now. But did it Kendrick say he's what the culture's feeling? Now he's not feeling the culture? What a hypocrite. Okay, first of all, shut your whore mouth. Second, in order to get into this, I'm going to explain the sentiments of these albums and how they culminate into this song that we are now presented with today. I won't be focusing on Overly Dedicated or Section 80 because I believe the projects that come after it have more to do with each other. And there's a thematic story thread that begins with Good Kid Mad City and reaches all the way to Mr. Morale. Good Kid Mad City, as the title would suggest, is about a good kid in a mad city, but it's also dreams and aspirations for the future. On Money Trees, he raps, Dreams of living life like rappers do. On Backseat Freestyle, he says Martin had a dream, Kendrick had a dream. He's talking a lot about things he wants to do when he gets into a position that he knows he's capable of, as well as with everything else that goes on with Good Kid, Mad City. To Pimp a Butterfly is him now being there, fully realized. And he believes with his newfound fame, his prowess and acumen, among so many other things, he has what it takes to instill great change in the world. And that's of course among other things because this album is packed with so many different concepts, layers, this, that, and the other. But that's one of the more overarching threads. Damn is Kendrick realizing that not only can he not change the world, but it may in fact be doomed. Damn. Mr. Morale is him looking at himself in a mirror and thinking, how can you change the world when you can't even change yourself? You have long-standing issues you've yet to address. You have past trauma that hasn't been properly dealt with, infidelity, as well as self-hatred. But by the album's end, he's finally able to collect the pieces of himself and construct a new man. One that doesn't feel duty bound to provide the people with bread, butter, knowledge, and wisdom. One that isn't beholden to the people and not his family. Kendrick is not your savior. I choose me. I'm sorry. Which then brings us to the messaging in this song, Watch the Party Die, where he says, I think it's time to watch the party die. This shit done got too wicked to apologize. It's a double meaning, not only referencing his exchange with Drake, but also speaking to the world itself. It's too wicked here. Things have gone too far left. It's too late for y'all to apologize for it. When he spoke on watching the party die, the party is the fuckery, the buffoonery, the malarkey. You saw it in the Ten Commandments. When the shepherd left, there was nonsense abound. Nobody gave a damn about anything. Lawless Sodom and Gomorrah activities. Integrity and morals were used as toilet paper. Kendrick looks on in disgust as he sees this. He thinks, if I can't save it, I'll destroy it. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Hee-haw, yes. The guy feel like a cowgirl. I'm ready to... Oh, thank you, baby. This is so cute. Hmm, that was good. Coconut. Said, Lauren, I don't believe the record is just about Drake. I think he's talking about just the culture. You know, mm -hmm. people in the world, society, the media, industry. TV. Media, And I'm going to tell you something, Kendrick. You're going to drive yourself crazy, okay? The only thing you can do is continue to be the change you want to see in the world. Cause this ain't stopping no time soon. That's right. It's just not. Today I'm gonna be trying a chocolate wabbit. I don't believe in the Easter. I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm the Easter Bunny. What the fuck? Do you think 
God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? <laughs> you know I me, mean? we're too far gone. Like God himself would have to come back. And and even then people wouldn't believe it. They would not believe, people wouldn't believe it. it. What surprised me about this song was that it just wasn't called the heart anything. Normally, whenever Kendrick is about to release an album or he's in album mode, we get a the heart song. But perhaps this could signify a change in how he's approaching things. Perhaps he isn't concerned with speaking to people's hearts anymore and would rather rip it out of their chests. He might very well be into some Joker-esque energy for this album. But you'll still get tweets like this. Had it not been for Kendrick doing what he did on Like That, we wouldn't have experienced quite possibly the greatest rap battle in hip-hop history. As Kendrick said in the song, it's time for him to prove that he's a problem. If you are like that, show me. Drake doesn't have the cojones to pull off what Kendrick did. He doesn't have the cojones to have made a control. He would have never done these things and hip hop would have been lesser for it. So to anyone watching who doesn't like Kendrick and most of the time it's for the wrong reasons, or you may say he needs Drake in order to go platinum or he needs Drake in order to be relevant. I could say that very same thing when it comes to Kendrick and hip hop, hip hop, needs a Kendrick or else it will get bland. It will become stale with people who are refusing to push the boundaries or create anything new. They'd rather clout chase and copy off of each other's song and never take risks. Because if you take risk, there's the chance that you may fail. And if you fail, you'll get disliked ratioed and people will say, ha ha, your album went plastic or it went wood. And some won't even listen to the album that's supposedly bad. They'll just piggyback off of what others are saying. And that's how bad things are. Too many artists now get caught up in making music for other people instead of making music they truly believe in. Making music for themselves. And I believe you need an individual or multiple people like that in almost any facet of entertainment. Someone that not only has confidence in their music and who they happen to make it with, but respects the genre they so happen to make it in. A student of the game that enjoys the journey, loves the craft, the work that goes into it, and the destination is of little consequence. People feel that. It bleeds through what you create. I, I listen, man. Like, we play house parties, bro, every night. Like, I love it to a point I can't even describe it. I'm not doing it to have a good song mm -hmm. or one good rap or a good hook or a good bridge. I want to keep doing it every time, period. And to do it every time, you have to challenge yourself and you have to confirm to yourself, not anybody else, Confirm to yourself that you're the best. Those before me and the respect I have for them, I want to hold myself high on that same pedestal 10, 15 years from now. I too sometimes wonder what Lecrae would do. Drake is a phenomenal rapper, but Drake is a fan of the culture. Mm. Kendrick is a product of the culture. It's a difference. 